Hello and welcome to Front Runner Motorsport and another episode of One Race Wonders. Celebrating the Indy 500, we are looking at race drivers who took part in one Formula One race and for this special week we are looking at drivers whose sole appearance in Formula One just happens to be the Indy 500. And we have a special one for today's affair, Jerry Unzer Jr. of the Unzer Racing family. So make sure you subscribe and check out the other Indy 500 videos and let's begin. Jerry Unzer Jr. was the first of six Unzers to race in the Indy 500. His dad and uncles were also racers, so this is a big family affair. Many an Unzer has taken to the track. He began racing after serving in the army and was very talented. He never got a chance to race in many USAC events, but he was the 1957 stock car champion, taking four wins in the series. In 1958 he took part in his only Indy 500 and of course his only Formula 1 race, racing in a Curtis Craft Offenhauser entered by owner Roy McKay. Jerry Unzer managed to qualify 24th after two failed attempts and so the first of one of the most successful families in Indy 500 history took to the grid. And it didn't even last a lap. He got caught up in the fatal crash of Pat O'Connor and retired from the race, getting launched over the wall and breaking his arm. Lucky to be alive. At Indianapolis, disaster struck on the third turn of the very first lap when Ed Elysian skidded while trying to grab the lead. He touched off a 12-car jam-up in which driver Pat O'Connor was killed and several others injured. When we cut down to slow motion, you can see O'Connor's car flipping over in horrible detail. He didn't have a chance. Jerry Unser's car jumped the wall, but he escaped with only a dislocated shoulder. The chain reaction collision on Memorial Day was the worst in the long history of the Indianapolis 500-mile race. The Indy 500 was Jerry Unzer's only race of 1958. He returned to the Indy 500 in 1959, but during practice had a horrifying crash that left him with a broken neck and severe burns on nearly half his body. He was pulled from the car still conscious and taken to hospital, but died several days later from pneumonia. His brothers kept on racing and both would win at Indy, and Jerry's son's nephew have also raced in the Indy 500. So the Unzer name has not been lost to history. But Jerry Unzer Jr. at the age of 26, leaving a wife and two kids who were only two and one years old at the time, was a tragic case. It was this crash that made officials implement a rule for every driver to wear fireproof clothes. Jerry Unzer Jr. is a Formula One one race wonder and a legendary member of the Unzer family. Thank you for watching. Check out the other Indy 500 videos uploaded this week and subscribe. Leave a comment with your thoughts. Have a good one.